Hey guys, welcome back to Unmedicated and Dysfunctional. I'm Kenz. Today we are finally watching Siren Song. Um, hashtag Man Crush Shane is here. I'm so excited. <laughs> Please don't be mad that, that that's a thing now. Um, I'm super, super excited for this. Um, I've been waiting a very, very long time to go ahead and watch it. I was very surprised with the promo trailer, um, which I believe was the first few minutes of the film. Uh, we're going to jump right back in right now and watch it. And it's going to be magic and amazing. So here we go without further ado. Siren Song, a fan-made Resident Evil film that bridges Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2. So here we go. Starting it now. I'm so excited. Like, so way excited. You guys have no idea how excited. So 80s, I love it. <laughs> oh boy. Wait, this is rated R. I might have to make this video a 21 and up. This video contains scenes of explicit violence and glore. Yes! Sweet! Couldn't do it without violence and glore. Gore. It's Resident Evil. My friends get really mad at me when. I watch movies with them, especially when I'm drinking, because I get very, <laughs> like, I just spoil everything, and I talk way more than I probably should, and they get very, very upset by it, so I'm gonna try really hard not to do that for this film. But I'm still gonna comment and do the commentary of sorts. I'm super very excited. This already- look at Shane! Look, that's, that's Shane's name! <laughs> I'm already very into the general creative direction that they went with this in terms of the imagery that they're using just to get into the film itself because it really creates a great mood. Hey, I know Reggie! It's a great mood for the film already with the music. September 29th, 1998, 612, boom. This is the part that we saw before. I don't remember if it was the same music or not, though. Either way, it's beautiful. The lighting is so well done. And the sounds, too. Oh no. He's dead. Oh no. You can't have a good zombie movie without a couple deaths within the first few minutes. That's, that's how a good zombie movie works. If you don't have zombie deaths and people dying within the first few minutes, it's automatically not a good zombie movie. It's my, uh, those are my rules. I made those. That zombie's a heavy breather. It's like when you sit in class and there's that one creepy guy behind you and he's just like... <sighs> You're like, whoa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is uh, different music. I'm way into it. Way into it. Uh, Raccoon City Police Department. So this... September 29th, 1998, 9.15 a.m. All right. Boom. Everybody listen up. I don't remember As who this program. Know, I am pumped to have each and every one of y'all here. We are forming a new task force that each and every one of y'all will be a part of. Hmm. And second, hey, uh, Corey Hart, back there in the back. How about you take those uh, sunglasses off your face? Whoa. Why are you so sassy? Fucking right, <laughs> All right. The costuming. That cross is bullshit. I didn't kill them, man. They're fucking eating people out on the street. There's dogs. You can see their ribs and shit. But there's fucking blood everywhere. Whoa. So, uh, yeah, minus the, uh, The crazy. costuming is really well we done. We all know about the homicides here lately. It's very accurate to yeah. the game. Prepare to copy. Is he not going to notice that they just walked out in the middle of a, a meeting? After yelling at the other guy. 
<laughs> this is gonna be brutal. I can't fucking believe this. Yeah, well, believe it. Everybody that was at that Spencer Mansion operation are suspended until we're done with this internal affairs Why is everyone acting like this didn't happen? Why? Maybe you need a little refresher. Let's think about this. Two of my mm. best teams are KIA, and then you go to the paper. And let's see what you said. It's right here. Oh, yeah. Let me read this out loud. We encountered a large umbrella laboratory that was filled with zombies, mutated animals, and this is my favorite, a giant with claws for hands. So you mean to tell me that it's not possible that Umbrella is using that mansion to conduct illegal experiments and shit kind of I'm gonna... What if whatever they were testing on up there reaches down I'm gonna here? pause this real quick and change the quality of it because for some reason my internet is going in and out. So we're gonna go ahead and um, I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, we're back into it. Um, just oh, for yeah. a second. Read this out loud. We encountered a large umbrella laboratory that was filled with zombies. Look at Shane's amazing animals, beard. It's so beautiful. A giant with claws for hands. So you mean to tell me that it's not possible that Umbrella is using that mansion to conduct illegal experiments and shit kind she... out? What if whatever they were testing on up there reaches down here? She you know sounds what? like Shane's the girl the from the game. Till we get this all figured That's out. That's really impressive. <laughs> what happened to you, Chief? Did Umbrella get to you too like they did Wesker? Hey, you know what? I don't have time for this. Send in the new guy. And you, drop off your badge yeah. and get your way out. Send in the new guy. Yeah. Get out of here. I mean, her hair and everything. It's so accurate. Have you seen Kennedy? No. no. Chief is breathing down my ass about him. So what's going on? You know. Just getting suspended for doing our jobs. Yeah, that would be really frustrating. So, so go Jacks later tonight? <laughs> yeah, we'll go Jacks. Yeah, after this, I could use a few drinks. Or ten. All right. Here we go. So there's anywhere between three to ten drinks. That's hey, the Shane. limit. Right there. Leave your radio to on tonight. Even after shift, okay? Yeah. Kennedy, first day on the job. Sir, I'm, I'm not Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. I know. You're not the typical agent. You're going to change the world, and you're going to uh, keep the citizens safe. I hope he dies. No, sir, I'm, I'm not. I don't I'm like not. him. Sir, I'm a kill. Oh. Well, no shit. At one speech, and I only say it one time. We work here, and I do. It's the right time. It's the right place. It's the right uniform. It's almost too easy. We have each other's backs here. We like to think we run a pretty upstanding precinct. He's not a very good sergeant. So pretty good scores on Get the range. it? Because the sign in the back you know, says stars. If you ever decide to get serious about That's that, a good one. you might consider trying. Someone will stars. get a giggle out of that. But uh, until then, you got a beat to walk. So I need you to check in with the secretary. She'll get you all squared away with a locker. Uh, she'll get you a sidearm requisition form. And, uh, oh, you know, we're in the middle of moving right now, so we keep a lot of our firearms at Kendo's. But until then, I think you can plan to be a little bit more bored than normal, but be on your toes. Wait, so there's a new guy so. in uniform, and, and, like, this was his debriefing? Why did they debrief him after he's already, Rita, like, in the Rita! precinct? Yes, Chief. Hey, can you get Marvin and Ryman to find... What the hell is that? It's a typewriter. Do you even have ribbon for that thing? <laughs> uh, yes. You know what? Get Marvin and Ryman to find Kennedy and get back to me, okay? Yes, I keep Chief. forgetting that oh, yeah. this is 98 and not uh, current times. Ooh. Ooh. You're a bad cop. Skeleton keys. I think I'm missing things that happened in the second game because I'm gonna be real honest, those games, there's so much information and I love it. But it is so hard for me to keep up with all the details uh, from the first and the second game. So I keep forgetting what's alluding to the second game and what's continuing from the first one. I think if I played yeah, them more there. recently, I'd be more uh, I don't tuned. Think so. Which is awesome because the Life second game just got remastered, so that might potentially be something right? that we could do. You saw in the city. Everybody's either dead or MIA. 
Jill's last message points mm. us here. Everyone knows not to go on an old boat. That's the first bad idea you got in a horror movie. You never go on the boat. The boat's always where the monsters are. Is this it? Whatever's going on, Umbrella's behind it. And Jill thinks Burton's ship has something to do with it. Burton? Yeah, ship is always He's a bad an idea. umbrella scientist. <laughs> Just, if you see a bad Working ship and ship? people are like, well, this is probably going to leave somewhere. Umbrella's got lives everywhere. Don't go on the ship. Why can't we just get out of here? New guys, new guys right. The new guys right. We became a cop to make a difference, right? It's up to us to stop Umbrella. Or you can call reinforcements. <laughs> reinforcements would not be a bad idea. This ship actually uh, mildly reminds me of Bioshock. And there's that scene, I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to give it away, but there's an event with a pool. That's all we'll say. I would actually really love for someone to make a Bioshock movie. That would be awesome. So, uh, fan films. If you could get on that Bioshock train, <laughs> I would love to watch it. Jesus. Wait. Wait, she tied down? I missed it. What the hell is that? Oh. Wait. Real question. Would zombies recognize light or are they purely sound? You. Oh, but they're umbrella employees. That's fine. They did this. So much for stealth. I feel like someone needs to make a book on zombie rules. There was a movie that recently came out on Netflix called Train to Busan. Uh, and they play a lot with... I guess you could say zombie anatomy in terms of having to be stealth and, and what things they pay attention to and what they, they can't pay attention to. It's actually a fairly good movie. I would recommend checking it out if you're interested in, in uh, the zooms. Whew. This is Bravo Team Leader. Remaining samples are secured. The VOW is still on the loose. Copy, out. You a good guy or a bad guy? I think you're a bad guy. But I don't remember what your character is in the next game. Oh, look at them, they're so cool. I've always wanted to play like a, a cop in a movie. But like one of those really hot cops that wear latex or like they're also a vampire or something like an underworld. I've always wanted to do a role like that, but they're not popular anymore, which is too bad, you know? I mean, I'm sure the leather is squeaky and mildly uncomfortable, but it'd be way worth it. Oh, wow. Oh, that was not a good picture of someone's brain. I mean, the picture is good, but if you've got that many things in your brain, you're not doing too well. Man, I would be out of there so fast. You'll better shoot him. He's not dead. Yeah. What are we even looking for? I don't know. Samples, research, evidence, you know, stuff that cops do. Stuff that cops do. <laughs> for what? If we bring samples back to the city, maybe they can make a vaccine. Vaccine? I ain't no coming back from this. Hmm. That is a good question. Like, could you actually vaccinate? zombies and make them human. I mean, there would be so much deterioration by then. I don't know that that would change anything. One thing I do really appreciate about this is that they kept to the language and the... Like, I'm really impressed with how well the characters 
like the gestures and everything are very similar to the games. I'm really enjoying that. And the, the vocabulary choices. Ooh, T-Type 1. That was intense. <laughs> Intestines. Get it? Intense. Ins. Ugh. Terrible, terrible <laughs> jokes. <laughs> the soundtrack is so good. Freeze! RPD! Uh oh. Shit. No, don't freeze up, dude. Man, you can't freeze up like that. You can't freeze up. There's no room for that kind of freezing. Definitely not something that was added in in post. I wonder what that was. Oh man, the other guy's not doing well. Oh, he's definitely infected. There's no way he's not infected. <laughs> like he, the zombie threw up in his mouth. Oh no, the vials are going to be gone. Yeah, that's a bad time. You know, I always wondered why it was called Raccoon City. I don't know why that was the uh, choice. I know the system. I can hack into it. Wow, you're so handy. I'm in. But you're also probably infected, so you might want to get a move this on it. that. It's all the evidence we need. They're distributing the virus through the sewage system. Hmm. That's how Umbrella's doing it. We need to take this information with us. Ah, shit! There's a list of names here. Ouch. Brad, Jill, Chris, Rebecca. Who, who are they? Those are all Stars members. Oh, those are from the first game, right? I'm terrible with names. I don't remember the names. I'm pretty sure those are people from the first. What's the plan, rookie? I'm gonna give a new friend here. Some playmates. Mm -hmm. That didn't seem like a good idea. Oh boy. <gasps> Wait, are we gonna see... what's her name? She's one of my favorites. I don't remember what game she's from, though. The one with the... on her head. Oh. 
One thing I really love about these games are how complex the characters are. So I want to know his story. Because uh, I, I don't remember who he is. Oh boy. Yeah, the slime. I love the slime. And the bone crunching him. Whoa! That's intense! Imagine going face to face with this guy. That would suck. No, Shane! Kill him. Look, this guy is like a new guy. He's like, I'm I'm still getting used to the regular guys. Meanwhile. The other guy is like, hey, help me out. I'm being choked by a zombie. Yeah, there you go, newbie. Yeah. I like that their guns light up. That's a nice touch. That's so nice. No, I can't. I can't. We gotta go, Sark. We gotta go. That's right. Build those muscles so you can pull them all the way out. We're not losing. We're not losing man crush. <laughs> Ew. They did such a good job with the special effects. The zombies look so cool. What are you doing? Go, go, go! You die in horror movies by not doing anything. There you go. Oh, you're way outnumbered though. I don't know that that was your, your best plan. It was probably definitely not the best uh, thing you could have gone for there. Wait, is it over? No! That was it! Why was that it? No! <laughs> I wanted there to be- Oh! Okay, good. <laughs> That's not it. There's more! Okay, move your ass! Wait, is that it? No! I wanted there to be more! I really enjoyed that. I really got into it. The makeup was really well done. I don't know uh, who on the team did that, but phenomenal job. Um, I'm really glad we didn't lose Shane. Shane didn't die. Um, I'm also really glad that they actually gave the female character, even though she wasn't in it much, they gave her a lot more depth. Um, Cause that that's something that really, really bothers me in the uh, games is that she's very whiny. There's no reason for her to be whiny, but she's very whiny. And it's hard for me to, to like characters like that. So I like that in this, they kind of give her more passion than they gave her just complaining. And she seemed a lot more capable. So I really, really enjoyed that. Um, and <laughs> this was just, it's fun. I want to see more and I want them to make a Bioshock one. Guys, please do a Bioshock one. There's so much that you can do with the creepy girl. Um, like, I almost want this to be a horror film. And the games now, I feel like, a lot are a lot more scary than they were in 98, uh, 98, 99. But I still really enjoy this, and I really, really hope that this goes somewhere more than just uh, ending here. Um, please keep keep doing your guys' crap. You guys are doing a great, great job. Uh, for those of you who are watching, please take a screenshot, hashtag it, mancrochon. We're going to make that a thing. I'm gonna tell him right now, we're making that a thing. Um, and he's probably not gonna be super happy about it, but we're gonna do it. Um, just because, you know, we can. Uh, Shane, if you're watching this. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, so great, go great job to the entire team behind this, uh, all the actors. 
I really, really enjoyed that they kept that, uh, like, mildly cheesy dialogue. Um, I'm pretty sure that was on purpose, but I really enjoyed that, and I enjoyed how... <gasps> you did all right, rookie. That's pretty awesome. That makes me feel good. It's exactly like, like the game. I'm really glad. Like, there are just little things in this um, that they added in that really made it feel genuinely like a Resident Evil game. Um, there are also a solid 20 Easter eggs in there that I completely forgot to even look for because I was just so involved in it. <laughs> I just really, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and, and having it as real people really puts a new perspective on it. So again, thank you guys so much. Uh, go over to their channel. The link is in the description. Give them a thumbs up on this video. Let it run. Give them that view. They well deserved it. Um, subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. Great job. I, I really enjoyed this. It, it's really, really fun, especially for those of you who like the games and who enjoy the games. I know I really enjoy them. Um, it's just been a very long time since I've played any of them, and I went and did a little bit of a review, but I really feel like I would have gotten more out of this if I had gone back and played through the games. So they are really fun. <laughs> this was a great watch. I really enjoyed it. Um, keep doing your craft, guys. As always, thank you guys so much for checking out that Patreon, giving a thumbs up, and subscribing. As always, I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>